to apply the cuff on the thin uh, cotton fabric. But this fabric must be short. No, this is not possible absolutely to, to, to make this jam. It's not possible. So if the patient has no short jacket or short um, cuff, sleeve, 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 sleeve. Uh, we need to remove this. <laughs> so, uh, if the patient is an uh, unknown patient, we measure on both arms, of course. Later, we choose the arm with the highest pressure. Or if the pressure is the same, we choose any arm. There's a mark, the label artery, so must be placed on the arterial brachialis. If no this mark, these tubes must be over arterial brachialis. And this is the size of the cuff, 25 to 36 centimeters. So you have to measure. I can't have to measure the arm. No, myself. <laughs> Twenty-four. So you need say, children. <laughs> the adult begins with 25. <laughs> but we'll apply his already adult, or almost young adult, one centimeter of the year. Okay. If you don't have the measure, the measuring tape, you can use this as a measuring thing. If you apply the cup, this index must come to this yellow line or some some other color line, uh, white line. If it if it comes here, out of this or even here, uh, this, this is the cuff is too big, and here the cuff is too small. Uh -huh. So you need the appropriate cuff. Usually there are three sizes: small, a medium, and large. Large. So one of these should be suitable for any patient. Okay, <coughs> you apply the cuff, please. patient must be in a resting position until five, uh, at least five minutes before the measurement. Not uh, jumping, smoking, or watching TV, or watching TV. Drinking, drinking. No coffee 30 minutes before, no smoking 30 minutes before, no alcohol, no running long distance and so on. The arm must be on the level of the heart. The uh, legs mm -hmm. should not be crossed. This is not good. Huh? Mm. You have to apply the cuff. The, the lower border is two fingers above this fold. And it must be so tight that you can put two fingers under the cuff. And not three. Only two fingers could pass under the cuff. This is appropriate cuff position and uh, uh, application. Now, <clears throat> in uh, international recommendations, you must do the measurement in three, in three, uh, in, sorry, in two uh, uh, steps, two two times, sorry, uh, two two runs. First run, you palpate the brachial artery. By the way, this is on the medial su surface. The arterial device Radialis is on the lateral, on the um, radial surface, and here this is on the ulnar surface of the, uh, of the elbow, here. You have to, to palpate and um, increase the pressure in the cuff until the pulse stops. The pulse stops. And then 20 millimeters higher. And then you listen and begin to decrease uh, the blood pressure relatively, relatively fast to find the area where the Korotkov sounds appear and where they disappear. The area, not the exact value. And then 
you do the second run, you do not palpate, you already know what is the uh, highest uh, point, you listen and you increase, increase the pressure until, for example, 160, and then you decrease the pressure slowly, 2 millimeters, it means one kick of the device per second, 2 millimeters per second, and you wait for the first chord of sound. This measurement on the uh, scale is a systolic blood pressure. Then you increase the speed of the decompressing of the cuff until you go closer to the area for diastolic pressure you noted for the, in the first run. Then you decrease again on 2 mm per second, measure exactly the point where chord of sounds disappear or become very, very um, uh, silent, the beginning of the fourth or of the first chord uh, the phase of the chord of sound. And then you decompress the cup fully. Of course, in the practical life, this two-run process is not always made. However, this is international recommendations. We did it in one run, both things in one run. The blood pressure is 112 to 74. Please remember that there are no odd values, only even values. Mm -hmm. So if you say 125 to 75, you lie. <laughs> only, oh sorry, uh, only even values, no odd values, only even. So, or if you if you read in the patient's history, of course, the modern uh, um, automatic devices, uh, digit, digital devices, they measure with uh, also uh, even values. But this traditional devices, they only have even values, no odd values. Questions? What should we do after we measure? After we measure one time, we wait for three, two, three minutes and measure a second time. In some international recommendations, three times measurement is uh, recommended. And then we calculate the mean value of two or three times. And this mean value will be considered as a patient's pressure on the left arm. <coughs> then we do the same on the right arm. So you see the uh, measurement of the blood pressure uh, in the patient you see first time is a relative lung procedure. So 15 to 20 minutes. We went really done. Later, when we know this patient, we can uh, do only on one arm and maybe two times Okay, please, now everybody measure the pressure and assess the pulse. 